Hey there viewers. In this video of child health we are going to talk about a very common problem every parent faces all over the world. From the title you've probably guessed. Yes, your baby swallowed object or object stuck in child's windpipe. But before that, make sure you've subscribed to our channel and rang that bell notification. Alright let's get straight in. You can't prevent your baby or toddler from putting things in his mouth. But seek medical help right away if he swallows something sharp or magnetic, or an item gets stuck in the airway. Some items are okay to let pass in his stool. If your child is choking, be prepared to administer CPR and first aid. I think my child swallowed a marble or something. What should I do? If your child swallowed something that's not sharp or otherwise potentially dangerous and it doesn't seem stuck in her throat, she'll probably do just fine on her own. It's likely that she'll pass the object in her stool and end up no worse for the experience. Warning, do not try to make her vomit up the object. While you wait, keep a close eye on her and call her doctor if she has vomiting, drooling, abnormal breathing, fever, chest, throat, mouth, abdominal, or neck pain. Give the doctor a call if you don't see the object in your child's stool in the next couple of days. To check, put the poop in a strainer and run hot water over it. If you think your child swallowed something sharp, like a toothpick or needle, or otherwise dangerous, like a small battery or more than one magnet, head to the ER or call her doctor right away, even if she seems fine. These things may need to be removed rather than allowed to pass. They can perforate a child's esophagus, stomach, or intestines, leach dangerous substances, or even create a small electric current. One small magnet will pass, but two or more magnets can cause different parts of the intestines to magnetically stick together, leading to twisting, obstruction, or perforation. What if my child is choking on the object? If your child is choking and unconscious or not breathing, tell someone to call 911 and administer CPR until help arrives. If you're alone with your child, do CPR for two minutes and then call 911. If your child is choking but still breathing, let her cough up the object if she can. Otherwise, call 911 and follow the steps for infant first aid for choking or child first aid for choking, 12 months or older. What will the doctor do? It depends on what your child swallowed, whether it seems to be stuck, and where it is, an x-ray will likely be ordered to pinpoint the object's location. If the doctor thinks the object will move safely through your child's system on its own, you may be told to keep an eye on your child and his bowel movements over the next few days. To track its progress, the doctor may order additional imaging tests, such as a CT scan. If the object is in your child's airway or stuck in his esophagus or stomach, or it's sharp or otherwise hazardous, the doctor will remove it. Ways to remove an object include Endoscope This long, thin, lighted tool is used to remove objects in the esophagus or stomach. Bronchoscope This tool, which is similar to an endoscope, is used if the object is in the airway. Surgery Sometimes surgery is necessary to remove a swallowed object. Is there any way to keep my child from putting stuff in her mouth? No. It's an instinctive and important way for babies and toddlers to learn about the world and a constant risk until about four years of age. The best plan is to learn about prevention and be vigilant. What safety precautions can I take? Here are some basic tips. Any object smaller than one and a quarter inches around or two and a quarter inches long is a choking hazard. You can buy a small objects choke tester to help you evaluate the safety of an object. If the object fits entirely into the cylinder, it's a choking hazard. Frequently, get down at your child's level and check every surface within arm's reach for any item your child might find and put in his mouth. Dangerous items include coins, the most common foreign object ingested by children, small batteries, buttons, jewelry, pins, paper clips, tacks, screws and nails, crayon pieces, and marbles. Do not put magnets on the refrigerator or use tacks to post papers. Be vigilant around the changing table and crib area. Disposable diapers, for example, are a choking hazard. Never ever leave your child unsupervised with a rubber balloon or allow her to put a balloon in her mouth. Pop balloons are a common asphyxiation hazard, and an attached string or ribbon is a suffocation hazard. Mylar balloons are a safer option around young children. 
keep your purse and the diaper bag out of reach, and make sure visitors do the same. Keep an especially watchful eye when you're visiting someone else's home. Make sure your child plays only with age-appropriate toys. For example, many toys are safety-rated for children 3 or older because they have small parts that might come off and become a choking hazard. If you have an older child, keep her toys, for example, snap together or magnetic building toys, away from your baby or toddler. Get trained in CPR yourself, and make sure all your child's babysitters and daycare providers are trained in it. Okay. That's all what we got for now. Comment below about your experience related to this problem. Leave a like and share this video to every parent you know. See you all later. Bye for now.